welcome to this YouTube video. In this video, I will teach you the best configuration for setting up your static files when you are taking your project to, uh, when you are trying to deploy your project online. So we are going to be making use of white noise to save static files in the uh, deployment. So the first thing that we are going to need to do is install white noise. So run the command pip install white noise. So I already have this uh, library installed, so it's going to tell me requirement already satisfied. But for you, it's going to install this library. So we may proceed. The next step we need to do is we need to add some extra uh, settings uh, concerning the static files in the settings.py file. So the first setting that we need to declare is static roots. So I'm going to say static underscore roots, and then I'm going to equate that to base dir forward slash static files so i'm just going to give this space and i'll call it static files so what exactly is static root when we proceed we are going to run a command and then every single static file in our project is going to be kept inside a folder called static files so we're trying to link to that particular folder by equating static root to uh, the location of this particular folder. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to, uh, to declare static files DIRS. So just create uh, another variable and call it static files underscore DIRS. And then we're going to equate that to a list. Now, what exactly are we passing in here? We need to pass in every single location to where our static files are stored. So for me, since all my static files are stored in static, I am just going to link it to the static. Um, the first item in this list is going to be the link to this static folder. So what I'm going to type in here is I'm going to pass in OS dot. Oh yeah, and we need to uh, import OS at the top right here. Oops uh let me plug this in okay so we need to import os in order for this to work so after importing os i want you to scroll down and then in here we need to type in os.path.join and then after typing in that we need to type base dir comma then static so I'm just going to end that. So basically what I've told Django is that I want you to take note of all the static files inside this static folder. So after doing this, the next thing that we need to do is we need to add a certain uh, setting called static file storage. And I have it written somewhere here because I don't want to rewrite it again because it's long. So I'm just going to paste it in. So we're saying static files underscore storage is equals to white noise or storage does compressed manifest static file storage. So make sure what you type is exactly this. So after doing that, the next step we need to take is we need to add uh, uh, the static files middleware to our list of middlewares right here at the top. So again, I already typed it out before, so I will just copy it. So we need to paste it right below the security middleware. Make sure it's below the security middleware in exactly this position. So I'm just going to paste it. It's white noise dot middleware dot white noise middleware. Now take note that each letter or each word starts with an uppercase. So that is um all we need to do in our settings.py file. The last step that we need to take is we need to run collect static. So we need to run the command python manage dot manage dot py collect static. So once you run that command, it's going to look for all the static files in your project project. I mean, and it's going to put it inside one folder. As you can see here, a folder called static files have been created. And once I open it, 
we can see that a lot of things have been added admin cloudinary css django quill icon import export and more so you can see that uh, um django went through all the static files inside the static folder and then it puts every single thing inside the static roots which is static files so when you want to go ahead and deploy be rest assured that all your static files are going to show and um your css your images your javascript everything is going to load properly so thank you for watching this video and if this was helpful please like share subscribe and if you have any question you can leave it in the comment section and i will reply you